Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. Doing some trout fishing at this river today and uh, last night got quite a bit of snow and it's still snowing right now. In fact, the weather report said that five days straight we were gonna get snow. So I think we're on about day three right now, which is a good thing, we need it. It's been a dry year for the West. I'd like to catch at least one 20 inch brown today. Hopefully this cold front and this snow didn't really uh, affect them all that much. And uh, maybe we'll do a little catch and cook later. Enough talking, let's toss in there. There's a fish. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. No, 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 no. Do I have him? Yes, I still got him. I still got him. I still got him. Oh, big old rainbow. Oh my gosh. Giant rainbow. About the eighth or ninth cast. Man, freaking destroyed it right there. This is a giant bow. This might be one of the biggest bows I've caught from this river. It's gonna be close. Look at that. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. That freaking rainbow. Come on. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Look at that freaking rainbow. That's like a freaking two and a half pounder. What a dinner plate. Definitely a stocked fish because he's missing all of his fins and he's looking a little torn up. Nonetheless, that is a great start to the day right there. Good rainbow. All right, there he goes. The rainbows in this river grow really, really fast. There's a lake upstream. It has the biggest rainbow trout in the state. They grow like at two or three times the rate of normal trout. So the rainbows in this river are no different. They've just got such an abundance of food. They grow extremely, extremely fast. That was sweet right there. All right, well that tells me they're still biting. Hopefully that wasn't just one lone rainbow trout. Fish right there. Fish right there. He literally followed it up to the edge of the water and then he came nose up to it. Oh, and he didn't bite, come on. There he is again, got him, got him, got him. No, no. That was the same fish that he came back for it twice. Oh. <laughs> There's a fish. There we go. Second fish all day, finally. What do we got here? It's a decent one. Brown, brown. All right, nice. First brownie of the day, no giant. In fact, one of the smaller ones I've caught this week. We'll just get him off the hook here. Beautiful fish. Just skin hooked him. All right, there we go. Beautiful brownie. There's a fish, got him, got him. Little brown. The fish have gotten smaller today, other than that rainbow. Yeah, just a little guy. Oh man, look at that, look at that. His eye right there, he's probably blind in that eye. That eye's normal, that eye's not. <laughs> Too bad, we'll let him go. That's why he's a little bit skinny. He's probably blind, poor guy. Well guys, it is a new day. I ended up getting snowed out yesterday and uh, it's snowing again today too. But uh, we got some blue sky over there. It's been like off and on. It'll snow hard for 20 or 30 minutes and then open up and be 30 minutes of bright and sunshine. So we'll see what happens, but I want to catch a nice fresh trout that we can cook up for lunch. We'll see how it goes. There's a fish, fish, fish. Got him, got him, got him. Is it a keeper? What is it? That's a brown. Hey, that's the first fish in about, oh, I don't know, hour and a half. So that's sweet. This fin is all good. And then this fin right here looked like it got ripped off or something. All right, so I think I'll let this guy go. I wanna keep a rainbow, but it is slow. So I think I'm gonna just keep whatever I catch next unless it's like a giant brown or something. Oh, there was one. 
right there I could see him big old silver flash I'm letting it sink all the way to the bottom of this little muddy channel and then just very slowly reeling it in whoa whoa there was one oh my gosh they're here they're here they're just not eating it there we go there we go there we go there we go oh it's a rainbow that's a keeper i'll keep him yes this is perfect keeping size too lift him up here there we freaking go folks beautiful little stocked rainbow beauty we'll set them off to the side here while we keep fishing well fishing seems to have died down the past couple days only got that one rainbow had a couple more get off man it's just not really not really going on today so i think it's time to cook that fish we caught i'm starving and i got a cool recipe to show you guys so let's get cooking so here we have our rainbow trout, beautiful fish. You can always tell when they're stocked because they got that little nubby of a fin on top. But hopefully this fish has been in the river long enough where uh, it's not gonna taste like that gross stock trout would taste. Because when they're in the river for a good amount of time, they eat, you know, there's some freshwater shrimp, minnows, and all that natural forage, as opposed to in a hatchery where they're being fed fish pellets every day, which isn't very good. So I'm actually gonna fillet this guy up today. I usually never fillet fish, but I'm gonna, you know, try to sharpen my skills and uh, fillet this rainbow trout. All right, so I never fillet fish, so you're gonna have to give me a break. And this isn't a real fillet knife, but it was the closest I had. Just like that. And then turn your knife and then run along that spine. There we go, now we'll flip them over. To be honest, that's not as bad as I thought I was gonna do. Looks like we got just about all the meat off of him. Throw that out there. I recently learned that there's a few catfish in this river, not very many, but there are a few, like a handful. I'm sure I made their day down there with that. We're going a little fancier than usual today. I'm gonna make a pretty gourmet recipe, or at least try to. We got here a yellow pepper, some garlic, an onion, and then we got some cilantro in this bag. So we're gonna be dicing this up. Now for the onion. Onions are way harder to dice than peppers. Take our fillets, set them right in there. Salt and pepper. So we're gonna let these fillets cook just for a little bit, probably about halfway, and then we're gonna add our little uh, array of onion, pepper, cilantro, and garlic and then let all those flavors mix and match together. I brought here some tortillas, then we're gonna heat up the tortilla over the fish and then make ourselves some gourmet fish taco slash burritos. All right, now we'll go ahead, add our fixins. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. A lot of people like the skin, but I'm not a huge fan, so we'll just throw that out there. 
and a raccoon or something will come by and get it later. And then we're left with two beautiful fillets cooking in that butter and salt and onion and pepper and garlic. Look at that, fish is crumbling away. That's how you know it's done right there. Oh, Nelly. We're gonna go ahead and slice up a lime or a lemon, excuse me, and a lime, fresh picked from Walmart. Then we're gonna hit it with just a little of that lemon. A little of that lime. Let's check and see if the trout is done. Grab us a bite here. Wow, second that hit my tongue, I uh, decided that that was the best fish I've ever eaten. Stock trout or not, you can make them taste good if you uh, have the right recipe. I actually cooked up some rice uh, before I came here because I didn't want to have to cook it out here, you know, just limit the amount of time and things I had to cook. So I got some pre-cooked rice out here that we're just gonna dump in right there with it. And then also I have in this little bag just a tad of Frank's Red Hot. Add that to the mix. And then we'll go ahead and stir that all together. And we're gonna set this tortilla on there just for a sec to uh, heat it up. Well, the snow stopped, that's a good sign. It's still pretty chilly, but uh, hey, it's not so bad right now, especially when I got a nice warm meal cooking right here. <gasps> oh, goodness. A little more on this side. And we'll add a little more cilantro to the top and maybe add a few more peppers and onions to the top. Hit it with a little bit more lemon and then a pinch, just a pinch of salt. Now we fold this bad boy. Bon appetit. Oh man. Oh man, this might be one of the best meals I've ever had. Mm. You got the crunchiness of the onion and the pepper. Then you got that fish, that splash of lemon and lime, and then the spicy rice. Mmm. This is something that you'd buy at like Chipotle or uh, Costa Vida or something like that. Well worth the wait right here. It's a lot of work bringing all this crap out and cooking it on the river, but hey, it is worth it. Got a little bit left over in the pan. Man, that was delicious. You guys gotta give that your, give that a try yourself. Well folks, I'm gonna head out of here. That was a delicious way to end the day. But the fishing kind of sucks right now and it'll be dark pretty soon and it's starting to get cold. So I'm just gonna call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate the view. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for more trout fishing videos and more trout fishing catch and cooks coming your way. We're getting there guys. Spring is almost on its way. Only about a month, month and a half maybe before the snow starts melting at those uh, high mountain lakes, you know, the ones at 10,000 feet in elevation. And then uh, fishing is gonna start heating up and it's gonna be pretty sweet. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.